Hey guys, um, so the, for this video, I'm going to be teaching you the American grip technique for javelin and track and field. Um, so what this is, is one of the couple of techniques used when performing the javelin event in track and field competition, competitions, events, and practices. Um, there are a couple different grips that can be used when performing the javelin event, which includes the American grip technique, which is the one I'm going to show you, um, the finish grip technique, and the fork grip technique. Those are the three main popular ones. All are very effective in an event and practice setting and are used based on coach and athlete recommendations and preferences. Um, cues for performing the skill includes placing thumb and index finger at the end of the handle. Um, I don't have a javelin, obviously, so placing these two fingers at the end of the javelin. Um, this grip is a little bit slightly more uncomfortable for athletes, um, but coaches generally teach all three to them. Um, next, you can prepare yourself for the approach of the throw with a very wide extension behind um, the body remaining with the grip. And with all the power that you have, release the javelin and an angle with about 45 degrees between your body and the javelin release. So what that means is not having your arm like this throwing it, you're going to want it slightly back. Again, this would be 90 degrees, going further back would be about 45, and right here would be 45. Or Um, but when you're throwing, they obviously take those couple steps. You're going to grip mainly with your, again, thumb and in index finger, like I said, at the end of the javelin. Have that 45 degree angle back, not forward. And you're going to run with it. That's not obviously the run you would do, but then you'd release. Um, some common errors include overgripping your strength with the thumb, forgetting to rotate the pinky finger up, which will help enhance the grip strength when throwing. Um, so what that means is if you have the pinky off to the side, some people don't use their pinky because it doesn't, they don't think it helps with their grip strength, making sure you have all of that grip used. Lose, losing grip strength and or slipping when throwing the javelin, again, that sounds like a stupid mistake, but it's pretty common when first learning and not throwing with a, enough speed and strength behind the javelin. Um, how to fix these common errors include practice holding the grip until you have average to good grip on the javelin. Um, so even before you have started throwing, I would practice just doing practice throws and just your grip strength on the javelin itself. Practice wrapping fingers around the javelin properly. Learning how to throw with all the power in your body and releasing the javelin properly. And also learning how to properly follow through with your arms after the javelin has left your hand.